Hello from London. This is your quick take on the biggest stories right now. The point of the audit is to show the machines counted the ballots fairly. And we want to give those people who believe that there is something flipping a ballot from a Dominion system. It's not happening. U.S. officials and private sector experts have expressed, quote, utmost confidence in the integrity of the U.S. presidential election. This as President Trump continues to make unsubstantiated claims of widespread voter fraud. A joint statement signed by officials from the Elections Infrastructure Government Coordinating Council wrote, quote, the November 3rd election was the most secure in American history. It went on to say there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. According to sources, key officials at the Cybersecurity Agency are stepping down or expecting to get fired as Trump refuses to concede. Boris Johnson's most powerful aide is said to have quit and will leave by the end of the year, throwing doubt on the future direction of the UK Prime Minister's political project. Dominic Cummings, the mastermind behind the Brexit campaign, has been Johnson's key advisor and strategist. The resignation would bring to an end the influence of a small group of pro-Brexit officials just days before the UK must finalise its new trade deal. Amnesty International says potentially hundreds of civilians have been massacred in northern Ethiopia. This as tensions between the country's federal government and northern Tigray region escalate. Amnesty said it was unable to confirm who was responsible for the killings, but cited witnesses who blamed forces loyal to the region's ruling Tigray People's Liberation Front. Ethiopia's government, led by Nobel Prize winner Abiy Ahmed, has been battling fighters in the region loyal to Tigray's ruling party since early November. Poland is joining Hungary in threatening to veto the EU's recovery fund. That's over the bloc's efforts to make sure funds only go to countries that adhere to democratic standards. The EU needs unanimous approval from its members to borrow for the stimulus package. At stake is whether the EU can swiftly deliver hundreds of billions in much-needed funds to combat the deepest recession on record, while also making sure money isn't misappropriated in countries where democratic checks and balances are weak. In business news, Disney rallied after adding more online subscribers than expected last quarter. The entertainment giant is still reeling from the pandemic, but the growth of Disney Plus is softening the blow. Massive growth of Disney Plus at a reduced price in India and Indonesia alone account for more than a quarter of its 73.7 million subscribers worldwide. In other tech news, TikTok has won a reprieve on its US ban. The deadline for Chinese parent ByteDance to sell was yesterday, but judges blocked the order. The Commerce Department says it will comply with those rules, but is appealing. The proposed sale of a stake in the app to Oracle and Walmart is also in limbo. That's all for now. I'm Adis Kabash in London, and you're watching Bloomberg Quick Take.